morning to my dear students so today i'm going to start the next topic of chapter 4 animal fibers in last video we discussed about wool its properties now today we'll discuss about the next fiber which is very very important that is silk we know that silk is very precious and expensive fiber because of its lustrous appearance and silk is also a good insulator because it does not conduct heat that's why it keeps the body warm in winter and cool in summer there are various varieties of silk like mulberry silk tussar kosa muga etc but mulberry silk is the best quality the rearing of silk worms to obtain silk or we can say that the rearing breeding and managing the silk worms to obtain silk fibers is known as sericulture many people are working here in sericulture industries now let's start about the life cycle of silk moth the first stage of this life cycle is adult silk moth you can see in the picture it is very clear here adult silk moth the lay lays various or many tiny eggs now these eggs are hatched at a suitable temperature after hatching this is known as incubation period also in which the eggs are hatched at a suitable temperature now a caterpillar or small baby larva comes out and they start eating mulberry leaves it is their favorite food now after eating the mulberry leaves since many weeks they grow in size now they are grown up after that they start weaving a net around their body and they cover themselves inside the cocoon cocoon is a hard layer which they spin around their body and they keep themselves inside their cocoon now after some time this cocoon burst and adult moth comes out of the cocoon this is the complete life cycle of silk moth now the people working in the sericulture industries they get infected by certain diseases number 1 is so people working in sericulture industry they get infected by certain diseases now sericulture it is the process of rearing breeding and managing silk worms to obtain silk fibers some people work there they get infected by some various diseases number 1 is scabies and other infections while boiling the cocoon workers continuously dip their hand in warm water and thus their skin becomes raw and blistered which is scabies the second disease is respiratory disease like asthma it occurs when the people are in continuous contact with inhalation of boiling cocoons vapors etc and now a particular disease called sorter's disease which is caused by anthrax bacteria it is seen in the people working in wool industries this way today i am ending chapter 4 animal fibers till then have a nice day thank you